My name is Okele Oluwashio. Okay, what do you do in South Africa? Um, I'm a supervisor in spa, in a retail shop. And then, truth to be told, uh, it's really very amazing. I, I wasn't expecting what I found there. Yeah. Uh, it makes me have the passion and I believe so much in my country once again that no, there are, there are still some people out there who cares for the citizens or let me call it for their brothers and sisters out there. Because um, no, um, several times this has been happening occasionally. I've been in South Africa since 2018 and then my experience has been, uh, this xenophobia experience has always like maybe one year, once, it can happen twice a year or once a year. But this season, it was persisting. It was like first day, second day, third day, the break of a day and a two day, and then the continue the following day. So um, the experience of this evacuation, it's really amazing. I, I have to be honest with you. I have to be really honest with you. And I believe Nigeria themselves are around the world, people will be shocked by the turn up, turn over. Because even me when I got to the uh, to the High Commission, Nigerian High Commission, I was shocked myself. When I found so many people on the queue, people because I heard it to school, the major reason for going into South Africa is because I couldn't afford academics back home. I study agriculture, but I couldn't. Have, there is no experience when it comes to mechanized farming in Nigeria. And then I feel like, okay, South Africa is doing so well when it comes to mechanized farming and other things. And I choose to, okay, let me just uh, relocate. And then I came to South Africa, believing that studying in South Africa will be more easier, and I'll be able to push my career of being an, an agriculturalist. What are your aspirations? Honestly, I have to be honest with you. I hope to have guys like me to sit them together, especially on my field, which is agriculture. Ever since my ever since I've been growing up, my passion is agriculture. Anything animals and plants. I just feel like Nigeria. We can. Um, we have the potential. We have the capacity because. I have a brother very close to me here in South Africa before we fly away, from, before we fly, we fly from South Africa. He used to get contracts from the government in agriculture, but he used to be honed. The reason why he's not following us in this trip is because he still have a lot of hundreds of thousands with South African government. So uh, somebody like that, and then we are planning like, okay, let's go, when we go home, finances could be a challenge, we know that. But there is always room for stepping. There is always room for the beginners. And then, like the Bible says, don't despise the little beginning. So I just believe that there is a lot for me over there. Since 2013 to now, I know I should be, I, maybe if I'm not a doctor, if I don't have a doctorate degree by now, I should be very close to. So, but here I am. I wanted to be an agricultural researcher. Here I am, not achieving any. Do you have family back in South He's not like a biological brother, he's somebody I knew but because of our passion together because, uh, about Nigeria. So we team up like we are always, because we are headed to the same direction, like he's into agriculture, he has an, um, an, um, some experience, he's been an agri, agri farmer in South Africa, uh, agri uh, manager in South Africa. So he, the, he has, he, he's working with Mr. Charles who is now in Canada and then uh, the man could not handle the farm again and the man traveled, so that was the reason why. But because of the passion and what I've seen him done, so I, you know what you call adoption. So I adopted like my big brother. Yeah. So it means for that, I'm not traveling to anywhere in the world, not even South Africa. I'm not traveling to anywhere in the world. If I'm traveling to anywhere in the world, I'm going to, maybe I'm going to go there for a certain research, a certain city, like presently me and the brother were talking about how can apple, apples, you know, apples can be, can be planted in mass in Nigeria. Though the weather differences, so something like that could make me travel a lot, but, but not, not, not traveling to go and stay anywhere. Home is home. Home is where I reside. Home is where I come from. Nigeria is home. Now when we travel, you see, this is the honest truth. Permit me to just say this. Many of us don't have value for our country until we travel out. When we travel out, look at, okay, now look at what I'm putting on. Don't be surprised that this thing was given to me from Nigeria. 
when I see when we compare our markets and their markets, our quality and some other places' quality, I don't want to mention names of country now. We sat down and then we conclude that Nigeria have the quality thing. I said to somebody, if this shoe is sold in Nigeria, maybe he's a, uh, we have a Nigeria uh, manufacturer who we'll make this shoe. I would rather go for this shoe than going for anything from other part of the world. We don't market our company. I was having a conversation with a doctorate student in um, UJ. He was telling me, he said, ah, South Africa, we can never fight with Nigeria. And I said, yeah, you're right. And I said, but what is your point? He said to me, we produce, you consume. And I was like, really? You have a point. And I said, I, I, went, I went back home that day. I was ringing within my mind that this is very dangerous for our generation. A population of 200 million being a consumer, not being a producer, it's not okay. The government was looking to that. So that's what I would just like to say about it. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.